And ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? Once again, I'm Nev from Nev's Tech, but today I want to talk printer ink. There's three things you can be sure of in life, death, taxes, and horrible printers. Now, let's make this as easy as possible. Just get, if it has to work, it has to be official stuff. Yes, official stuff is unbelievably expensive, but at the end of the day, it just freaking works. So there's three types of ink you can get. You can get official official. You can get official refilled by a third party, or you can get a third party insert filled by and refilled by a third party. And man, I'm telling you, stay away from the later. Just stay away from it, unless it's a printer you got at home that doesn't always have to absolutely work all the time. Um, the 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 uh, the stuff that is first party refilled by third party, you can have issues with that too, and those will go bad on you, man. Okay, the the last two, geez, you know, just get official if it's for work, because man, I've seen so many problems that are brought on by the uh, by the other two, that it just it it it, it almost throws issues that seem spiritual in nature, because man, there's no way. Some of these errors that I got because of cheap inserts, cheap insert or cheap toner, it looked like they should have nothing to do with the toner. Man, man, I've had so many repair guys come out and fix things that uh, they had no idea what, what, like they had no idea what caused it, but they thought it was this, and then it turned out to be totally toner related, which was freaking crazy. So, anyways, especially when it comes to inkjet toner. When you take that toner out, you'll, you'll see the place where it hooks up, the place where uh, the system actually touches a circuit board on the toner. I don't have one to show you, sorry. But there is a little logic board, a little circuit board on every one of these units to say exactly how good or bad it is. Those things will screw up. Man, sometimes I see those things uh, there with hot snot, glue gun, and sometimes it's like they try to plastic weld the plastic around it so it'll stick in there but if that board is screwed up it can screw up your printer too so let's say let's say i've had a hundred a hundred of these units a hundred of the worst kind of unit which is uh made by a third party filled by a third party i might have had about uh 10 15 of those go down and it's not really so much the error rate as what they're erroring on the printers that you have, the printers that you use. Do they need to work? If you don't have these printers working, is it going to slow down your accounting? Is it going to slow down this or that? And yeah, you say, I'm saving money on that, but can you really calculate the, 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 loss, in, the loss that you have in effectiveness of your employees. You can pin those employees be working 99% of the time, but you better hope that the rat wheel they're running around on is willing to go 99% of the time, or you're not gonna be making that 99%. They're gonna be needing overtime, they're gonna be needing new employees. So, you know, if, if you need, a, if you need, if all, you, if, if all of these people only have one pen, that pen has to work. If that pen doesn't work, they want that pen to work. They really want that pen to work, let's say. Let's just say. Uh, but if you give them crud pens, they're not going to be able to work. They're going to have to come on overtime, or you're going to have to see if you can snakily make ways of them to come in without uh, paying them. Don't do that. But, yeah. Get official link. Get official link. Get official ink. Head on. Apply directly to the forehead. <laughs> really. Get official ink. Unless you want to be driving everybody nuts. Yeah, you know what? How much is your sanity worth? How much is the sanity of the people who work under you? Uh, how much is that worth? But again, if it's at home, if it's at home, you know, I do, uh, I do a little bit of e-bang every now and then, and I had to get a refill. I could only find a refill cartridge. It's like 25 bucks. And I tried that. I might use it once a month, but geez, it works. But when you need it, you need it, right? That's, uh, that's part of the thing you got to think about. Is it going to work when you need it to? Sometimes you're okay if uh, you have a car that doesn't work whenever you need it to, but you're a mechanic. But there are so few talented printer people out there because the printers are all from hell, I gotta say. Anyways, this is it for me, Nev from Nev's Tech Bits. Have a good one, take care of each other, and uh, catch you later.